you know, the very companies that you say are uncomfortable with this support this bill. Uh, the Silicon Valley CEOs support this bill. The people who are in the business of prosperity on the Internet think this is the right approach. I mean, so I, well, people on the Internet, if you're, you know, a 14-year-old tweeter in the basement, I'm, you know, as my uh, took my nephew, I had to work, work him over a lot on this bill uh, because he didn't understand the mechanics of it. I hear that a lot. Once you understand the threat and you under, understand the mechanics of how it works, and you understand that people are not monitoring your content of your emails, most people go, got it, I'm in. Having talked to uh, a number of executives of some of the leading tech companies, I would, I, would, uh, I would express their opinions of this bill as largely ambivalent. Uh, many of them feel it's fairly irrelevant because they feel they're better equipped to deal with threats to cybersecurity than our government. Uh, and and they, they find the notion somewhat absurd that they would even even do this with our government. They see that they say, in fact, believe there should be a flow of ideas the other way from the private from the private sector to the government, so that we can catch up with many of the leading cybersecurity. That's, 